Kelvin Ariol in the CX Racing FCRX7. Ooh, Kelvin. It's exploding that front bumper. As it says on his windshield, dang. Uh-oh. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, so it's a 86 Koki half stop SR5. So it has the 4AC WT36 carb. Too thick of a radiator, but it still does the job. Um, that's it. Wheels, uh, the 11 front, Koki front and rear, and that's about it. I wanted to keep it simple because uh, I still want to drive the book out of it. Okay. And uh, all right. And how does it drive? She drives great. A lot of people tell me she sounds like a 16 valve. So. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what you're saying is you don't need a 4AG to have fun. No, that is a fact. You do not need power to have fun. You need balls and seat time and to spend a lot of time driving. I, I feel agree. like a lot of people think that, you know, they need power, they need tires, they need all these things to like drive. But honestly, driving your mom's car that you borrow that night to the mountains is probably the funnest thing you can have because yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're learning body roll, you're learning apexes and whatnot. So um, I took this thing to Grange, I drifted, I connected at least half the track with 4AC and what, dry rotted tires in the back, 14s. Okay. Nothing special. And then at night I put on my grip tires in the rear and then go to the mountains. Okay, all and right. It keeps up with at least a good amount of things, I think. Okay, let's step into your interior. Tell me what you have done in this uh, interior. I have a- uh, Looks very clean. Thank you. Actually, this car was completely bare besides door panels and dash when I got this. I painted the headliner black, put um, black carpet in the front, did a quick tilt, east spare bucket seat. I got a angled shifter with the Zaft uh, shift knob. Yeah, this car was uh, no interior, so I put in all the front interior. And yeah, dash cap because uh, it looks like a desert under there. That's okay, what Corolla dash doesn't. So, where'd you get this car? Uh, this car was actually an acquaintance and he actually shared it with us and nobody wanted to buy it uh, out of our group of friends because I don't know why. So, I had three cars at the time and I was like, man, I can't have this car. It's too much. Lo and behold, I sell some cars and then I pick her up. So, yeah, it was from a friend and he hooked it up. He actually gave me payments for $1,500. So that was a deal. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, it's kind of the uh, the hype right now that the wave of Corolla prices have really gone up. So it's like if you're choosing to get into Corolla now, it's kind of like good luck because you're gonna have to really scavenge um, a lot of parts to even get your car together. Uh, it's kind of difficult nowadays. So. So do you think the prices will ever go back down? Do you think this is just a phase? Because I see people on offer up selling GTSs, even SR5s, you see them 10 grand. It's like, and literally when you look on offer up and Craigslist, there's no other car less than like five grand. It's ridiculous, right? So if you're looking for a Corolla, I feel like people are forced into buying. At, at this moment, yeah. At this price. And I feel like once it hits this price, people know what they go for. So they wouldn't want to sell it for any lower. Yes. Right? Yeah, no, I agree. I think it is a, a big wave right now. And if it's going to go down, I would say if it would go down, it wouldn't go down back to what it was. No, unfortunately. So let's predict what the next car to go up in price is, right? Because I feel like everything 90s, right? I mean, to me, I think personally, 350Zs have hit a rock bottom price. Yep. I've seen them for like two grand, three grand. Of course, they're in beat up condition, but. I mean, two grand for a running car, right? It's like, you can't, you can't buy a Camry for that much. Yeah. So what's your prediction? What car do you think would skyrocket? Um, In the future, I want to say maybe IS300. They're already oh, high definitely. now, but they're going to probably be even more high because of what kind of chassis it is. It's such a, a good chassis. And uh, I think right now it's in the age where people, how do you say, can't afford it yet. Yes. Right. But when it gets older, it will be. Uh, but I think later on in the future of a later 2000s car, that definitely would be a higher car. Yeah. Okay. So what's your favorite part about this car? Um, that it drives. 
and I get to drive it. Um, so you just turn the key and it starts. Yeah, she's she starts she starts right on. Um, man, I think driving it is what I enjoy the most. That even though it doesn't have that much power, you know, when you go downhill, it's, it's still fun. You know, in the corner, if you even have a SR20 or a single cam, that corner can only take so much force. So it's uh, up to you how to drive it. Okay. So I think enjoying the driving is my my favorite. What's the next modification or fix you would do? My diff. My diff your winds. Diff. Like your typical Corolla diff. Okay. Huh? What kind of diff? Uh, right now it has a, a 4.3 with a Tomei 2 way in it. Okay. So when All I right. bought it from the previous owner, it probably sat for a long time and they never... Yeah, yeah, did backlash it correctly. Yeah. So... Probably needs to get a rebuild. Yes. All right. Cool.